a lot of people cry hearing the recitation from how beautiful it sounds, and that's, that's a great thing. But I would argue there is something even sweeter. Those tears that fall from a feeling or knowing deep down that a dialogue has taken place between the person reading the Quran and Allah Himself, ultimately having, you know, true divine inspiration. And when that happens to me, I feel like it's because at that moment I have enough mental capacity for receiving this revelation and I'm not completely consumed by what's around me. The Quran's verses are scattered all over on our radios, blog posts, car keychains, in the mosque, the nearest to you in the dawn and the night prayers when it's being recited out loud. It's in postcards, it's on TV sometimes, it's on bumper stickers, Instagram posts, Facebook statuses, display pictures, books, movies, Snapchat stories, and callers to Allah who might remind you and convey to you His messages from above. So it's actually all around us. But what we lack is not the availability of the message, we lack the attention itself to the message. Most times we actually miss those letters because we are not paying attention. It's us. So it's wonderful to note that Allah in Surah Al-Furqan praises some individuals as the servants of the All-Merciful, Ibad al-Rahman. They are described as individuals who actually give these divine messages attention as much as anyone would for their phone notifications, for example. Because that is what they are in the end. They're Allah's personal notifications to you. 